Okay, what's up? So I'm gonna show you how to make these reflective floor or like wet concrete textures. Um, I'll just put some images up as usual of what we're gonna be doing. So here are some examples of what this looks like. I love using these textures because you can kind of just put anything like on top of it and just have any lights and it pretty much always looks cool. So um, it's a lot of fun doing these textures. I use them in all of the sci-fi scenes that I do. So either, one of the two methods that I'll show you is always what I use. So let's get into this. So the first method I'll show you is the, it takes like two seconds, but it's, there's some limitations, but it does work in some cases. So and I, I definitely use this all the time. So let me show you this. The first method is take a plane. So we have a plane here, no texture. And I just have a light here just to show the reflections. So what I'll do is just create a new texture um, go on to textures.com, go to this section, the regular photo section. Just take any one of these. I think I, I'm going to use this one here. So I already have that in a folder. So I'll just take that, that one I just found there. It's free. You can use it in anything and just run that into the roughness. And so now let me just reset the UV map. I'm just going to make it darker so you can see the reflections more clearly. And right away with one image and nothing else, uh, we're already sort of getting the look we want. Not quite, it kind of looks bad, but now I'll just take a color ramp and drop that in here. And let's just crank this up a little bit just to make it a bit more intense with the contrast. And then I think I need to scale this up because you can see in the foreground, this texture is not very high resolution, so we have to scale it up in order to get rid of all this blurry garbage over here. So just scale that up on the, UV map, on the UV map. And now we have more resolution, but the problem is we can tell that this texture is repeating, uh, especially if I start scaling this up a lot. You can see very clearly that this texture is repeating over and over again. So you kind of just have to find a balance between having enough resolution, but not scaling it up so high that you get uh, really blurry parts of this map. Some ways to deal with that are just keep the camera low to the ground. And if you do that, sometimes you can't really tell that it's repeating too much. The other thing you can do is just kind of put objects in front of the camera and cover up certain areas of the floor. And that way, um, if you just use enough objects to break up the pattern, you won't really be able to tell that it's repeating over and over again. So it depends on the angle you choose, uh, but this can definitely work in a lot of cases. And it depends on how high resolution you find uh, an image on here. This is definitely uh, a solid method Sometimes, not for all cases, but sometimes. Okay, so here's the second method that's, a, it takes a bit more time, but it gives a lot more realistic results and it doesn't have that problem of limited resolution. Let me show you this. So this is just a regular asphalt texture from Ambient CG. So I think it's this one right here, just some random free texture. Um, usually I'll use Quixel Mega Scans and use a paid texture, but it works just as well with these. So I just downloaded the 4K JPEG version for this and I just put it onto this plane. It's just the base color, roughness map, and normal map. I haven't done anything else. It's just the regular default texture. What I'll do is I'll just take the roughness map out. I'm actually not going to use this and I'll take the roughness all the way down to zero. So now our roughness is at zero, but it still looks kind of rough because we're getting bumps from the normal map. So what I want to do is have some areas completely clear like this, which looks like water, like a puddle, and have some areas that are with the normal map turned onto like all the way on. So the easiest way to do that is just take a different texture. So I just found this other random metal texture, downloaded that, and I took the roughness map from that texture. Any kind of map that has variation in the like darks and lights. So anything that has just patches of dark areas and patches of brighter areas will work. So a noise texture will work. Uh, if you just add noise texture, drop that in, use a color ramp. Anything that has a somewhat of a similar look to this will work. So anyways, all you do, you take that, run it into the normal map strength input, and then just take a color ramp and just dial in exactly what you want. So just put that in. Let's just crank that up. And so you can sort of see what's happening here. Now we're getting some areas that are completely flat reflective and some areas that are uh, with the normal map turned onto all the way up. Now what I'll do is I'll just scale this up on the UV map. But what we can do is actually just take this, that random roughness map that I got. Let me delete the old one. This is the new one. Just take that random roughness map that's actually driving the normal strength and control T, which 
as long as you have the node wrangler add-on enabled, which you probably do, control T brings up this. And let's just take the scale down to like 0.5 or even like 0.35, depends how much you scale up the UV map. And so now we can actually get as much resolution as we need in the normal map, but scale down the map that's driving the strength. So that way it breaks up the pattern and you can't tell that it's actually a repeating texture. And this pattern will change depending on what kind of map you use. So let me try this with a noise texture and let's just see what that looks like. So if I take this out and let's just take a noise texture and run it in there. Let's just search for noise, run this into this. I want the roughness up and the detail up too. And I want the scale down, I think. Yeah, something like that. And then just crank this way up. Yeah, there we go. Pretty much same thing. So it works with that totally fine. Let's add some volumetrics in here. So just principled volume in the world settings. Here are the settings that I'm using. Okay, I think that's everything I wanted to show you. Yeah, thank you for watching. Subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you around. Peace.